Hi there and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel today and joining us on this episode. Well, uh, <laughs> look what we have here. Tamiya's brand new uh, BB01 chassis or the BBX as the first release is known. Now, <laughs> how have I managed to get this? Well, if you saw my last video, which we had the, uh, the Sand Viper, uh, at the end of that video I said that I'd cancelled my pre-order for the BBX because they weren't due into, into the country until September now and only a few had got in on its uh, uh, proper release date so I was a bit bummed out in the, um, the fact that it wasn't going to come in and I thought well I'll, I'll, I'll just cancel it for now and uh, you know maybe I'll get one later on and I'll just get one because I fancy one um, where so you know that's what was uh, that's what happened and then of course uh, my friend uh, Richard Lowe of RLRC he managed to uh, get the one from Inside Line Models with only a few coming into the country some of the shops um, just got like one kit in and uh, Richard was uh, popped down to Inside Line picked this one up so you may have seen this buggy already if you haven't uh, all the credit's got to go to Richard really, so go and check out RLRC. Uh, I'll put the links in this video to his original videos on this buggy. So, um, as I said, go check them out. Now what happened is, because again I cancelled mine, I had the slipper clutch uh, option part ready and waiting for mine, and I thought, well it's no use to me, so I sent it off to Richard and said, here you go, you make use of it, uh, put it in yours, and, uh, and you can have it. So, at the end of his video, he said, right, I'm done with it now, I'm going to move it on because he's after another uh, buggy that he really wants as a future project. So, he was very uh, kind in giving me first refusal on this and he offered it me at a, a really good price. So, in the end, it made sense to, uh, to take him up on that offer. So, anyway, here it is. It's all done. Now, since Richard ran it, I've put a, a driver figure in, spot lamps on, and the, the covers that cover the ESC and receiver in there. I haven't done the window nettings yet, and I've put a, a, a couple of different decals on. Um, so anyway, what we're going to do is, we're going to get it running for you, and then we'll, uh, we'll bring it back. Now, I have brought the wild one with me for a reason, and I'll go into that, but I think we're just going to give this a bit of a run first, and you can see it in action. Now, when Richard ran it originally, it was soaking wet. <laughs> so unfortunately, it probably didn't show the buggy off exactly how it should do. But uh, you know, it was what it did. It, that's the way it went. He did get it out running, but it was a bit wet. Anyway, and here at Stanley Park, we're going to give it a bit of a blast here. Now, it's running a 1080 Hobbywing uh, ESC, and I've put it in a brand new fresh Tamiya BZ stock motor had one lying around and um, as you say the kit I'm sure you'll most know the kit comes with uh, CVD drive shafts it's fully bore raised alloy shocks uh, hex head hardware so it's quite a nicely spec thing anyway uh, let's give it a bit of a go I've not even adjusted the slipper or anything yet so uh, you can hear it. So yeah, the good thing is as well, <laughs> I don't have to um, worry about running it in because uh, Rich has already done that for me. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, you can hear the slipper slipping. It probably needs a little tightening up. Anyway, let's uh, follow it down here a little bit and we'll... Uh...
does look absolutely fantastic. It's a cracking looking thing. And actually, I did give it a bit of a run last night on the road after putting the electrics in, and it drives really nicely. It's nice and smooth as well. dog to play with us. <laughs> Making friends. Oh, even got a nice big leaf stuck in it as well. Yeah. But yeah, I can see this being a popular buggy and it's going to be fantastic for customising as well. I'm just going to quickly grab my other buggy, so... Uh, now, I was thinking, now that I've covered it in muck, <laughs> um, now if you ask me, obviously this buggy parks back to uh, the classic Tamiya's of the, like, the SRB buggies, like the, uh, the Buggy Champ and the Rough Rider, uh, Super Champ, whatever they were all called, I can never remember now. Um, and it's definitely got that nod to it, even has rough ride on the car. But I was actually looking at it and I think it's actually got quite a bit in common with the wild one as well in terms of looks. You've got that same similar type of rear cage at the back, similar body style layout, even the body shell at the front here comes off in exactly the same way. So I think it's a good mix and you've got the nerf bars either side. I think it's a good mix of um, the uh, SRB style buggies and it's definitely got some Wild One DNA in there as well. Um, and I reckon actually, I was looking at one of my others, I think as well, because uh, they're going to bring other buggies out uh, on this platform, they've obviously, Tammy have uh, put a lot into it, so there'll be others I thought actually I could see a bear hawk, like a Neo bear hawk being done on that as well, but that's just my opinion. Um, so yeah, it's a damn cool thing, uh, really liking it so far and I'm going to look forward to uh, doing some customization with it. I also need to get the proper driver figure in, that is just uh, one I temporarily stuck in because I've not had time to paint the other one up yet. Um, so initial impressions are, it's really cool, I absolutely love it. Uh, I can't tell you what it's like to build because I didn't build it, but uh, you know, construction seems nice and it's fairly, it's not overly complicated by the looks of it. And uh, I've had a few things off it, and it all went together all right when I was putting it back on. Now, what I will tell you is, these uh, if you look at the bodywork, the main bodywork is held in by these tiny little Phillips screws. Now, they seem to uh, they seem to come out the holes quite easily, uh, so the bodywork can be a bit flappy. So, what you might need to do is put a, few, a little washer in behind it on them, and that might hold it in better. That's just something I noticed. Um, well, yeah, we'll, get, we'll definitely do some more to this. I'm looking forward to getting the upgrade parts for it as well. So we've got the slipper, and we'll see what else time you bring out for it. Um, well, yeah, I'm going to put it back down on the floor, give it a couple more uh, minutes of a blast, uh, and then we'll end the video. So, yeah, so, of course, massive thanks to uh, Richard for uh, letting me have a chance of getting this buggy. You've made me day now because um, you know I didn't think I'd get one at all so you know didn't think I was going to get one but um, here we are so cheers Richard you've uh, you've uh, made it uh, all possible for us as well anyway let's uh, give this a bit more of a, a run for you <laughs>
taking up that little hill. I feel like I've got it. <laughs> Since it's there. Also, as well, while I'm thinking about it, uh, the diff on this looks like the same one out of the TD2 and TD4, and they included the alloy nut that goes on the diff, which stops it from stripping, which uh, was a common problem on TD2s and 4s. So that was good as well. Well done, Tammy, for that. Well, yeah, so far, uh, for me anyway, Tammy has hit the nail on the head with this one. Getting caught on the long grass. Oh, what have I done there? Apart from just spraying myself with mud, um, yeah, absolutely loving that. So we're, we're going to leave that for now. So we have to go and clean that out now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so far, total thumbs up for me on this one. Great release by Tamia. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to like this, especially when we get some uh, getting more coming into the country. Uh, so again, cheers, Richard. Uh, massive thanks again. If you haven't seen his videos on this, do check them out. Um, because he did it first <laughs> and uh, I wouldn't have been able to do mine without his uh, so yeah let me know what you think to this one guys and girls cheers for checking this one out as always look after yourself and take care if you haven't already please consider subscribing to Andy Robinson RC on YouTube <coughs> and also come check us out on Facebook and Instagram under Andy Robinson RC right we're going uh, cheers again and we'll see you all soon take care bye